today's video, we're going to cover what is materialism and how to get over it. Let's get started. Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today we're going to cover what is materialism and how to get over it. So, um, what really prompted me to make this video is for the past couple years and really all my life, I've always been one to value material things. And what is that? Um, let me go ahead and show you. So, whoops, right here is an RC car. Okay, let me get a good look at that. So, this was something that I really, really wanted back in 2014 and when I was younger. And so basically what would happen is every year I would um, mow a bunch of yards with my brother um, he was very generous and would pay me pretty well um, and I would save up and go buy RC cars or candy and all these things. What began to happen is over the years I grew to love working but only working just enough to save and then go spend it all on the next RC car and the next toy. And you may be thinking yeah that's like what most kids do anyways but the thing that can be an issue with that is over time if you don't learn to have self-control and to learn to wait on things and to control those desires what happens is you just keep going and looking for the next best thing um, it starts out as an rc car then it goes to a dirt bike and then it goes to a truck and then it's like hey i need a newer truck um, then i need a house then i need to get a bigger house and um, wanting newer things and nicer things is not wrong but it's that desire where you put it over um, say other priorities in your life like your relationship with God or your family or your kids um, Whatever that may be Materialism is the belief that the material possessions are more important Than other things in life such as relationships experiences and personal Growth it can be a harmful mindset as it can lead to dissatisfaction debt and environmental problems That's new um if you're looking to overcome materialism, here are a few tips. Number one, identify your trigger. Two, practice gratitude. Three, set goals that are not materialistic. Um, four, spend time with people who are not materialistic. That definitely helps. And then five, donate or sell your belongings. So that's quickly over um, some tips on that. And let's go ahead and start with the first one. What are the things that make you feel like you need to buy more stuff once you know what triggers are you, you can start to avoid them. A big trigger would be going on Facebook. Um, and the reason why is on Facebook Marketplace, you can look up anything you want. So um, a while ago, and actually not too long ago, about a year ago, I was looking for dirt bikes, motorcycles, enduros, and all that stuff. What began to happen is every day I was on Facebook looking for motorcycles. I was trying to find a good deal. And that may not be a wrong thing, but I noticed you know, I'm spending a lot of time trying to focus on this and I could be focusing on other things that are actually important and that I actually need. Um, so that's one thing that may be helpful to you is do not go on social media or any type of platform where you can go search for that thing that you really want if you're feeling like that is something that you don't need. So cut out all um, online interaction if you can. Um, it takes some time each day to appreciate the things you already have. So if you have a truck or you have a car or whatever, some type of transportation that is good and that gets you from A to B and it works, well then maybe practice being grateful for that. Um, I drive an old truck, I would like a newer truck, but I realize, hey, this thing works, does the job, do I really need a newer vehicle? No, I don't. Um, so it says, appreciate things you already have. This will help you face on the positive Focus on the positive aspects of your life and be less focused on acquiring more stuff. Set goals that are not materialistic. Instead of setting goals like I want to buy a new car or I want to have a bigger house, set goals that are more, are more focused on personal growth, such as I want to learn a new skill or I want to travel to a new place. That can definitely be really good. That's a golden nugget right there when you're starting to look for things that you want to buy, um, like a drone. If you already have a drone, maybe practice a new skill with the drone you currently have. Um, another good skill is music. 
if you're finding yourself restless after work and you're not knowing what to do with yourself and nothing else um, really um, captures your attention, then learning an instrument takes a lot of time, focus, energy, and persistence. And that challenge in itself can be enough to keep you intrigued to get better and to learn this instrument or new skill like playing tennis. Um, this one says, spend time with people who are not materialistic. So as common as that sounds, it can be a lot harder than it is because you may not realize that some of the friends you may have are materialistic just like you. That's why y'all maybe get along and you want to monitor that. So it says surrounding yourself with people who value experiences over possessions can help you shift your own mindset. And that is true. If you find yourself with people that need to go out and to constantly go shopping to have a good time or to go get a drink or whatever it may be, um, even food, then you may reevaluate who you spend your time with. If you can call up your friends and say, hey, do you want to go walk at the park? And they're like, yeah, sure. And then go home and, and no dollar was spent. Well, then that may be a valuable relationship to keep growing. As you can see, they don't require food. They don't require any materialistic items um, to um, be in your presence. They can just hang out with you and that's it. Um, another great way to find friends like that is to go outside and get involved in sports, especially like pickleball or tennis. Most of the people there are just there to play tennis and then they go home and they're happy with that. You don't have to go spend money to have a great time. Here's another last tip. Find other ways to feel good about yourself. Material possessions are not the only way to feel good about yourself. There are many other things you can do to boost your self-esteem, such as spending time with loved ones, learning new things, and helping others. Um, here's another tip on that is serving is a really big, um, big uh, tool to use for being materialistic. If you find yourself uh, falling into that that desire of just wanting something and obsessing over it um, oftentimes serving especially in the church can really help um, or serving just in general um, if you know someone that needs help go help them that can get your mind off yourself and put your mind on something that god may want you to do overcoming materialism is a journey not a destination it takes time and effort to change your mindset but if you're willing to put in the work you can live a more fulfilling life and less materialistic life um a lot of trends have come up in the past years of material um, minimalism, and that may help you as well. So that is Google's advice on that. And I was going to go ahead and read to you guys some scriptures on materialism from the Word of God. So NIV translation, 1 Timothy 6, 7, and 8. For we brought nothing into the world, and we can take nothing out of it. But if we have food and clothing, we will be content with that. Um, that couldn't be more true and that goes to show you look if you you have food you have water you have clothes you may even have a vehicle to get to your destination um, what else do you really need you have an awesome phone um, and you have family hopefully you have all those things or a portion of all of them um, the main one is if you're watching this video you are most likely alive and you have an internet connection so you can download a game or something um, it just goes to show you look at the little things you have I have water I have a bed I have food I have friends I have family and most of all I have God so what else do I really need whoever loves money never has enough whoever loves wealth is never satisfied with their income this too is meaningless um, oftentimes we can get consumed with um, how much money do I have money is your goal it can get very empty and very boring very quickly because you'll just be wanting more and more money and it never really um, amounts to anything but that. 836, what good is it for someone to gain the whole world yet forfeit their soul? Um, we see this a lot time and time again with rappers and very famous people as they gain all this success, um, fame, um, they have the nicest spouse, they have the best car, they have all this stuff but there's still that empty void and they often end end up um, miserable, unable to sleep, and um, sometimes unable, they lose their life. So that's kind of what that verse sticks out to me. Um, let's go and look at one more and then we'll go ahead and wrap this up. Then he said to them, watch out and be on your guard against all kinds of greed. Life does not consist in an abundance of possessions. So that one is Luke 6, Luke 12, 15. 
So hopefully guys, this video helps you identify if there's any materialism in your life. And if you see anything, I hope that God helps you see what it is exactly and to um, take action on that. Because you can watch this video, but if you don't take action on any of the stuff talked about in the video, well then you may end up in the same spot. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you on the next one.